Come on, wave your hands to Jesus. Begin to thank Jesus for all he has done in your life. Come on. Open your hearts to receive from Jesus. Come on. I entered the holy of holies. I entered through the blood of the Lamb. I entered to worship you only. I to honor I am I entered the holy of holies I entered through the blood of the Lamb I entered to worship you I enter to honor I am Lord I worship you I worship you Lord That's who you are, holy Lord. For your name is holy. You are holy, Lord. Through the blood of the Lamb, through the blood of the Lamb, I enter to worship you only, to worship you only. I enter to honor just to you, Lord, to honor I am. Sing, I enter. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. Say, through the blood. I enter to worship, to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. Say, Lord, I worship, Lord. We worship you, yes, we worship you. I worship you. Say, Lord, I will. Yes, I worship you. I worship, I worship you, Lord. Say, Lord.
Jesus, 
Wave your hands to Jesus. Holy are you, Lord. None can be compared to you, Jesus. You are holy, you are mighty. Holy is the Lamb of God. Seated on the throne. At the right hand of the Father.
Come on, lift your hands and worship Jesus. Holy is the Lamb of God. Holy is the Lamb of God. Sing holy. Jesus, come on, put your hands together, put your hands together, louder, 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 louder. Jesus is amazing, you just need to experience him, you need to experience Jesus, 
He's so, so, so amazing. Come on, begin to worship. A certain atmosphere is worship. Come on. Pour out your heart to Jesus this morning. Pour out your heart to Jesus. Jesus is willing to heal you. He's willing to deliver you, to bless you, to save you. God, you have the final word, the final word in my life. And God, your word, it said all, it said all forever. You are infinite. You're the ultimate. We trust you. We trust you. You are infinite. You're the ultimate. We trust you. We trust you.
you are infinite You're the ultimate We trust you We trust you You are infinite You're the ultimate We trust you We trust you are infinite You're the ultimate We trust you We trust you You are infinite You're the ultimate We trust you We trust you We thank you for all you've done, Lord. We trust you in our lives today. We believe you for all you will do in our lives, Jesus. We thank you, we thank you. We worship you, we worship you, Lord. Come on, wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. That my words cannot express There's a yearning in my spirit That I can't communicate Spirit, hear the voice of my heart Pray to the Father There is a cry in my heart That my words cannot express There's a yearning in my spirit That I can't communicate Spirit, hear the voice of my heart Pray to the Father Spirit, pray Pray Listen, listen, take. There is a cry in my heart that my words cannot express. There's a yearning in my spirit that I can't communicate. Spirit, hear the voice of my heart. Pray to the Father. Be with prayer. Words cannot express. There's a yearning in my spirit that I can't communicate. Spirit, hear the voice of my heart. Pray to the Father. Spirit, pray. There is a place deep in the waters that my heart longs for. There are realms of the spirit. 
spirits beckoning on me. Spirit, hear the voice of my heart. Pray to the Father. Spirit, pray. Spirit, pray. Pray. Spirit, pray. Spirit, pray to the Father. Come say. Come, 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 Deep in the waters that my heart longs for, there are realms of the spirit beckoning on me. Spirits hear the voice of my heart, pray to the Father. a cry in my heart that my words cannot express. There's a yearning in my spirit that I can't communicate. Spirit, hear the voice of my heart. Pray to the Father. Cannot express. There's a yearning in my spirit that I can't communicate. Spirit, hear the voice of my heart. Pray to the Father. Take control. 
Jesus, worship Jesus. Let his name be lifted up over every other name. His name is higher than every other name. Besides you, there's no like you, Jesus. There is no name like your name, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, worship Jesus. Let your glory be above. Let your glory be Oh Lord, above all heavens, be thou exalted, oh Lord, above all heavens, let your glory be above all the earth, let your Above all heavens, be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens, let your glory be above all the earth, let your glory. Every breath that I breathe, I love you, Lord. With every song that I sing, I love you, Lord. You are my joy, my everything. Lord, I love you. You are everything. Oh, how I love you. You are everything. I love you, Lord. With every breath.
the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, as I walk in to this altar, a song was ringing in my heart. Right from there. It keep coming. It keep coming. And we are going to sing the song now. Reflect on God's mercies in your life. Reflect on God's mercies in your life. Let all you do mercies in your life. Reflect on God's mercies in your life. Let all you do for him bring him glory. Reflect on God's mercies in your to be in the presence of the Lord. Are you happy to be in the presence of the Lord? Let's begin to worship and praise the Lord because he deserves all the glory, he deserves all the honor. Hallelujah. You are the reason I leave. You're the one for me.
like this. Come on. Like this. Hallelujah. You are kind. You are gracious. I can testify you are good. I have taken. I have known you. And I can boldly. Gracious, and I can testify you are God. I have tasted, I have known you, and I can boldly say you are God.
let us let us continue to put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That was a wonderful time of praise to God Almighty, and that will continue any moment from this time. As we are standing, we quickly want to bring to our view something exceptional that happened in the course of today's service. While we are here praising God and listening to testimony, God also was busy doing something that are beyond human understanding. That clap, that clap is not enough for mighty Jesus. Espectadores de todo el mundo, mientras estábamos aquí oigando la gloria de Dios, Dios estaba haciendo cosas, obrando milagros, maravillas, ha ocurrido algo que va más allá del entendimiento humano y que vamos a compartir con ustedes. Preparen su corazón a recibir y a testificar la mano de Dios en esta casa. Nous voulons regarder un clip de l'œuvre exceptionnelle que la puissance de Dieu continue d'accomplir à travers le ministère du prophète Ibi Joshua. So, we are going to be on our feet because it's going to be a time of praise and adoration to God Almighty for this mighty deed. For you to know, as the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua said, that you can never be in a place before God. God is always one step ahead of you. Before you are here today, your blessing was certain. So we are still going to call on the synagogue choir to give us beautiful song, but before then, let us watch the screen and see what happened. Observe in su pantalla y vean que Dios siempre va un paso por delante de ti. Abre tu corazón para ver lo que ha ocurrido hoy aquí en vivo y en directo. Regardez votre écran et voyez ce qui s'est passé. Voilà l'accouchement d'un bébé garçon en bonne santé au nom de Jésus. Pratical evidence that God Almighty has so many miracles in stock for us today. All we need to do is to believe and we will, will make sure it comes to pass in our lives. So let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Dale un aplauso a Jesucristo. Todo lo que tienes que hacer es creer. Evidence que Dieu a en réserve pour vous d'autres miracles. Because of other activities, later we are going to hear from the new mother. How God Almighty intervened in her affair and gave her victory. And she delivered her baby safely without any surgical operation, without any problem, without any issues at all. Esta mujer ha dado a luz a su bebé sin ningún problema, sin ninguna complicación. Vino buscando eso y Dios ha obrado en su vida. Así que luego vamos a escuchar su testimonio. Nos vamos a continuar con la louange. Más tarde vamos a esperar la nueva mamá. Parle en el nombre de Jesús. So viewers all over the world, thank you for joining us for that time out to see that wonderful miracle that God Almighty wrought during the service in the morning. And we still have much more to do in our means today. So let us call on the synagogue choir to give us beautiful songs, to worship God, to thank Him, to praise Him for the mighty things about to do. Okay, just before then, thank you, thank you, thank you, just before then, for the benefit of those who were not paying attention. They were not paying attention and they do not really understood what happened. We, only, we don't want to let the cat out of the bag. That is why we allow you to view what happened. So we want us to see it again. The woman came seeking for safe delivery. And we all know what that means. And when she came today, the unseen hand of God touched her. One of the evangelists went there and prayed for her, and she delivered a baby safely. So let us watch once again. Así que vamos a ver nuevamente este clip. Esta mujer vino en busca de un parto seguro, y Dios la ha tocado hoy. La femme est venue en recherche d'accouchement en toute sécurité, et l'un des évangélistes a prié pour elle. That 
the baby. After the prayer of the evangelist, the delivery of the baby. For those of us who have not been privileged to see that. For this mighty, mighty miracle that is as wrought in our midst today. Let us put our hands together for Jesus and lift our hands and say, Thank you, Lord. Dale gracias a Dios porque el mismo Dios que ha propiciado este parto seguro va a intervenir hoy en tu vida. Remercions l'Eternel plus pour ce grand miracle qu'il a œuvré à notre présence.
part of everything. No one like you. Hey, no one like you, Jesus. No one like you.
Let us put our hands together for the miracle working Jesus. Let us be seated. We give glory to God Almighty for his wondrous work in the life of the people. Earlier, we play a video clips of what God Almighty did in the life of a woman who came to the synagogue church of all nations. And for the benefit of viewers who are just joining us now, we want to play back that video. Then listen to the woman concerned because she's right in our midst to tell us the mighty thing that the Lord God has done in our lives. Espectadores, han visto esta mañana un video de lo que ha sucedido hoy, lo vamos a volver a pasar. Una mujer que vino en busca de su milagro por dificultad para dar a luz y ha recibido ese toque sanador de Dios directamente hoy durante el servicio. Veamos. Les spectateurs du monde apprêtez-vous à regarder la vidéo de cette dame qui a accouché par la grâce de Dieu quand l'évangéliste a prié pour pour elle. Regardez vos écrans. Together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Damos un aplauso a Jesucristo. Aplaudissez pour Jésus-Christ. As we welcome the woman into our midst, let us continue to clap for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who have made this wonderful miracle to be possible in the life of this woman. We all saw the clips of how the power of God touched her, how the evangelists have prayed for her after receiving instruction from the leader of the synagogue of all nations. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. Vemos a esta mamá con este bebé recién nacido y a ese toque sanador del evangelista. After receiving instruction from the leader of the synagogue of all nations, our mother in the Lord, that the evangelist should go there and pray for her in the name of Jesus Christ. And indeed, the evangelist prayed and the power of God did what he has promised to do, set her free, and she delivered her baby safely. And she's right now in our midst, and we want to hear directly from her, telling us what God Almighty has done in our life. Once again, let us put our hands together for this mighty God. So, mother, you are very welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks. Before you share with us the wonderful thing the Lord has done for you, could you introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Helen Sunday. Helen Sunday. So I'm from Abuja. Yes, I normally used to feel this attack of spiritual husband, like coming, wants to hit me, like stab me with the baby. So sometimes I receive prophecy, people telling me, you will die with this baby. You will die with this baby. I was scared. I've gone to Mountain of Fire for deliverance, so many churches. Uh, so you, you, you mean... The problem that actually brought you was yes. that since you conceived, yes. you have been having these spiritual attacks yes. where a man will come to stab the baby inside of your womb. Yes. And tell us what, to be, what used to be the reaction of this uh, dream, the effect of it on you. Sometimes I dream, when I see him, it's like a cat. Sometimes it comes like animal. And sometimes he told me, you cannot survive this. That is going to kill me and the baby. So this fear was in me. I was confused. I said, God, God should intervene in my situation. Like, I was totally confused. I keep praying, 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 nothing. The more I pray, the more the spirit the of man comes to attack me. Mm. So I was restless, and I don't know what to do. So I spoke to my mom. I said, this is what I'm passing through. Because sometimes the spirit of man will come and have sex with me. He was sleep with me, and when I woke up, I would start crying. And I, when I go to church, they told me, once a spirit husband sleep with you, just find, you just find out that your baby is dead. Your baby is dead totally. So I was, like, confused. I don't know what to do. So I told my mommy about this issue that I'm passing through, this spiritual problem. So I told her, I, I watched um, T.B. Joshua Emmanuel in the TV, so I saw miracle happening. I told my mom that I've gone to so many churches, no solution. That ah, this should be my finest place for me to come. 
and which I'm from Abuja. So I took that courage. It was not easy sitting down in the car for some hours, but I have to take that risk. So I came. When I came, I was in the congregation this morning. I was sitting down in the congregation, not seen, because the scan, my scan date is showing 17. So on my mind is like, okay, I'm not giving birth now. So I should just come for prayer. After the prayer, God will do it for me. So, so for clarity. <laughs> You are still going to tell us how God did it. But we want you to clarify this. You said you traveled from Abuja. When did you arrive in Lagos? I arrived in Lagos last night. Last night? Yes. And you came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations this, this morning. morning? Yes. And you said you have done X-ray, you have been to the doctor, and they said your day of delivery will be when? 17, 17th of July. This 17th of July. Yes. That is what the doctor said to yes. you. Yes. Mm. Hmm. So, when you now came today, tell us what happened. So, I was sitting there in the congregation. I was, so, the, the praises was going on. So, I started, I was just shaking my head sometimes, like dancing a little bit. Some sharp pain. I started feeling some sharp pain. Like, what now? I don't even understand. So, I said, I was not comfortable in the congregation. So I had to tell my mom that I want to go to the restroom. So when I went there, <laughs> and I saw something coming out like kata from my vagina, which I don't even know. I started telling my mom that, look at what is coming out from my vagina. I don't even understand. So immediately, I started feeling sharp pain. Like from there, the usher came in, took me out from the congregation, and they took me to the hospital, synagogue clinic. Okay, they took you to the clinic. So tell us, before then, you said when the praise was going on, you started having this sharp pain, yes. and you went to the ladies, yes. and something, stray substances yes. came out, out of your body. Yes. It was after that stray substances came out that you started feeling... Sharp pains, pains all over my body. You started feeling the labor yeah, pain. Yeah, uncomfortable. Yes, I was uncomfortable. In the and at what point the water broke? Tell us. So immediately, when I just left the congregation, the water just broke. After the kata just came, the water just broke like that. I could not even control myself. That is how the ocean... So it was after those stray substances came out yeah. that the water broke out. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. And that is when you knew it is time. Yes. But the doctor told you when were you going to deliver your baby? The doctor told me on the 17th. Even the, the sex 17th. of the child is gay. XX, which I saw, boy, just, I was surprised. <laughs> Please, many people want to understand that. Can you please repeat what you just said now? Um, I, in my scan result, I'm seeing XX, which is gay. Why XY is boy? So I was surprised I give birth to a boy. <laughs> and today is on the third. Yes, third. Today is on the third. third so when July. the water broke, at that point, the evangelist came and prayed for you. Tell us what was your specific experience. When the evangelist came in, he laid his hand on me, started praying. So as he was praying, my legs started vibrating. I was feeling some strange move all over my body. So I was like, what is this? Can I do this? He kept praying. So he gave me, um, I don't know if it's water or something, a liquid substance. He said I should open my mouth. He put the... So they put the anointing water yes, inside your yes, mouth. In then what mouth. happened immediately? So when he put there, I feel some strange move inside my womb. So, I, as in, I was thinking that it's not something I can do. But immediately, the baby started bringing his head out. He started coming. Out. Out. And the baby started coming out. And the baby started coming out immediately. So, without That's... severe labor pain, you deliver Lord Jesus Christ. As you can see on the screen, that is the
amiga de la señora Ellen que ha venido desde Abuya, ya llegó la noche pasada y hoy ha venido a la Escoan en busca de un parto seguro. Ya estaba sufriendo un embarazo dificultoso debido al ataque de un esposo espiritual. Nos comenta que estaba teniendo problemas en su embarazo y que los doctores no le daban solución. Pero inmediatamente hoy, durante la adoración, el poder de Dios se estaba moviendo aquí en la casa. Ella sintió el poder de Dios moviéndose, sintió una cierta incomodidad, un dolor y fue al baño. Directamente de allí algo salió de ella, la llevamos aquí al hospital, a la clínica de las Coan, donde por instrucción de Dios, en nuestra madre del Señor, la pastora Belén Joshua, instruyó al evangelista que fuera y orara por ella inmediatamente a ese toque, como hemos visto en pantalla del evangelista, ella comenzó su labor de parto e inmediatamente, sin ningún dolor, sin ninguna molestia, dio a luz a este precioso bebé. Así que, espectadores, el poder de Dios está vivo aquí en las Coan. Damos toda la gloria a Dios por este instantáneo testimonio de un parto seguro. Les spectateurs du monde entier, vous venez d'écouter cet incroyable témoignage qui s'est passé aujourd'hui en direct à la synagogue Église de toutes les nations. Cette dame que vous voyez s'appelle Hélène Sunday. Elle est venue hier nuit à la synagogue et durant le culte ce matin, elle dit qu'elle écoutait la louange, l'adoration et qu'elle a commencé à sentir des mouvements dans son ventre parce qu'elle était enceinte ce matin lorsqu'elle est venue. Elle dit qu'elle était tourmentée par un mari de nuit qui, lorsqu'elle rêvait, elle rêvait que ce mari de nuit euh, poignardait son enfant et la poignardait aussi. Donc elle est venue à la synagogue et ce matin, elle sentait des, des, des douleurs dans son ventre et euh, elle était sur le point d'accoucher. Lorsqu'elle est partie aux toilettes, elle a commencé à accoucher. L'évangéliste a, a prié pour elle euh, à l'hôpital de la synagogue de toutes les nations et elle a donné naissance à ce magnifique bébé qui... We thank yeah, God for this unusual miracle that God has wrought in your life. So what advice or what word of encouragement do you have for people listening to, most especially pregnant women that were in the situation that you were uh, before this divine intervention of God? I want, to, I want to inform all my pregnant lady, and the worst of advice I have is that never give up on God. There is a tough situation that will come into your life that sometimes fear It will come with fear, anxieties, and so many things. Never give up in God. Keep praying, and sometimes look for a solution when it as it comes to synagogue. <laughs> Because here at the synagogue, you came, and God Almighty I intervened. I never believe. Like, if someone told me you're going to be bed today, I would say no. <laughs> It's God Almighty. So, Mama, in one word, what do you want to say about what God has done for your daughter? Emmanuel, I want to give God the glory because since from the beginning of this pregnancy, my daughter will tell me, say, ah, mommy, see you, they want to kill me, they want to do We know your daughter has said so much about that, but are you happy now that your daughter delivers safely? Yes, I'm very happy. Even oh. when they came to come and tell me, say, ah, mommy, your daughter has put to bed, I will cry and say, ah, the God of TV Joshua. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'll you, Jesus. I will put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because of the nursing baby, because of the new baby, and the wonderful thing that Lord Almighty has done, we know later they are still coming back for bigger testimony about this wonderful miracle that God Almighty has done in our lives. So we want to call on the synagogue choir to please give us beautiful songs to thank God Almighty for these mighty, mighty things he has done.
bye.